After a three-day wait, the Montana Grizzlies finally hit the court in this year's Big Sky Tournament against North Dakota, and they didn't disappoint. But North Dakota gets off to a good start in the second half as Cortez Seals hits from the corner. Fighting Hawks would go up by five. Seals scored 22 points. But Ahmad Roy would not let the Grizz go down. This jumper gave UM the lead back 59-57. to Rory scored 30 points. Then Michael Oginney, look out below. The huge slam puts Grizz up. Sorry, we lost the video there. There it comes. And he scored 23 points today after that slam dunk, but the Fighting Hawks would not go away. Gino Crandall for three, cuts the lead down to two. Montana's only senior goes to work here in the next play. Fabijan Krusovic spins into the right for two. He added 12 points and 13 rebounds. It wasn't easy, but the Grizzlies got it done, 84-76. to and now we'll toss it over to our sports director, Derek Berkeley, who is in Reno this week, and he has more on the Grizz win. Derek? Don, yeah, this one, like you said, not easy for Montana, although many expected it to be. North Dakota was huge underdogs for this game. They came out swinging with nothing to lose, hitting a ton of three-pointers in the first half, and it was tied at halftime. The Grizz had played pretty well offensively. They just couldn't stop the Fighting Hawks. Then finally in the second half, the Grizz kind of kept their offensive momentum going and finally got some stops down the stretch, and that was the key. Michael Ogine and Ahmad Rory were both fantastic. You could just see it in their faces. They were not going to let their team lose this game. Whenever Montana needed a big play, those two were right in the middle of it. And then Fabian Krizlovic, the only senior on the team, scored the two big buckets that really sealed the win in the final two minutes. Now the Grizz will move on to the semifinals tomorrow night where they will play Northern Colorado. The Bears just destroyed Weaver State in their quarterfinal. So that should be another tough matchup for Montana at 6.30 Mountain Time tomorrow. Live in Reno, Derek Berkeley, MTN Sports. All right, thank you for that coverage, Derek.